Yolanda Brown. Oh, you look <laughs> so young. Oh, thank you very much. I'm glad for it now, actually. In the early yeah. days, I mean, I couldn't buy a pair of scissors without getting ID'd, you know. I was reading a Charlie Parker solo once and I thought, he was on heroin at the time of playing this. How am I, a 16 year old Yolanda, going to really play it like him? And I think that was when I realised I have to make music that I can sell, music that I can play time and time again without having any other influences. If you'd have asked me when I was in my teenage years, what do you want to be when you grow up? If I was allowed to speak like blue sky thinking, racing driver, I mean, in the early days, I couldn't even get booked. You know, they wouldn't book me into the venue. So we did it ourselves. For a woman as well, it's, it's very difficult because they're always looking at what you're wearing. Um, you know, a guy can turn up in a suit, tie on, no tie, no one really cares. And for a lady, you go on and probably the first thing they're saying before you've said hi is just quick up and down. Do you know what I mean? I feel that I play better in heels. Um, I do move around the stage a lot. I love to dance around and move to the music. Um, But yeah, there's something elegant about it. And I mean, you are puffing into a hunk of metal at the end of the day. Do you know what I mean? It's quite a macho thing to do. So it just makes me feel a little bit more elegant and sassy. This is the minimum heel that I will wear in it play with the colours but gold heels on stage I love that they match my saxophones you see I went to St Petersburg and I played in the uh, Hermitage in the Winter Palace and um, it was I mean it's so ornate I played half of the song looking at the ceiling I think it was just like gold dripping everywhere Jules Holland Super Nanny Hootenanny Oh Hootenanny Yes it's the New Year's Eve Super Nanny Super Nanny what the fuck is she talking about that's a show waiting to happen isn't it (laughs) 